Gate is rolling. Santa's here. It'll be a Gay Sunrise, Candy Callis, and Etta, Just of I, Lori the Lush, and Armbro duet on the outside. It's post time for the eighth. Well, Santa, we we're hoping for number four, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Number four is on the board at uh, six to one. The favorite here is the six horse. That's Armbro duet at eight to five. The eighth race is now moving through the backstretch. And there they go. They're off and pacing. It's Gay Sunrise at the rail. Moving out in the center of the track comes Justify and charging up on the far outside, Armbro Duet. Justify between horses, Armbro Duet on the outside. Puts in a step or two. Now down in at the rail, Gay Sunrise takes over second. It's Justify with the lead. Gay Sunrise on the inside second. Pacing up third, Candy Countess. On the outside, Armbro Duet comes on again. Down in at the rail is Etta. And Lori the Lush trails as they they pace on to the quarter in 29 and 1. Now Armbro Duet takes over the lead by one length. Racing in second is Justify. Third at the rail, Gay Sunrise. Armbro Duet by a length and a quarter. Justify remains second. Gay Sunrise races third and heads to the outside. Pacing to the clubhouse turn with the lead. It's Armbro Duet. Gay Sunrise on the outside second. In at the rail, Justify third. Candy Countess to the outside fourth. As the horses move to the half mile pole in 59 and 3. It's Armbro Duet with the lead. Gay Sunrise up on the outside and neck away. In at the rail, Justify paces third. Candy Countess on the outside fourth. Down the back stretch they go. Armbro Duet on the inside. Gay Sunrise on the outside. Justify at the rail third. Candy Countess moves up fourth. Pacing up fifth is Etta. Sixth is Glory the Lush. Approaching the three quarter pole, it's Armbro Duet by a head at the three quarters in one, 28 and four. Around the turn, Armbro Duet with the lead. Gay Sunrise on the outside, second. In at the rail, Justify pacing third. Three horses wide now. Here comes Candy Countess. Moving on off the turn and into the stretch. It's on the inside, Armbro Duet. Gay Sunrise on the outside. On through the lane, Gay Sunrise now to take over the lead. Down to the wire they come. It's Gay Sunrise and on the outside now comes Etta. Etta on the outside. Three horse Etta is the longest shot on that board, but when you're racing fillies and mares, they are so unpredictable. And also in a six horse field, everybody's got a shot. Etta, the longest shot, wins it. Here she is now. She uh, woke up last week when she won a cheaper class, comes right back and wins the toughest class for fillies and mares here at the track with Kevin Wallace. That didn't hurt her at all either. Here she is charging up on the outside to down number one, Gay Sunrise. Etta returns $31.980.360. The one horse Gay Sunrise, $472.90. Number two, Candy Countess, $320. The Exactor pays $116.10. And the win four tonight, you needed four out of four, and a $2 ticket will return $6,000. 377.50. Down in the winner's circle with winning driver Kevin Wallace, who teamed at a very capably to victory. Kevin, was it as easy as passing the tiring horses? Well, it uh, just worked out. Uh, we got a good trip. Uh, just had good racing luck, I guess. This uh, filly is a big towner filly. Is that their characteristic that they close like that? Uh, I don't know. I haven't drove too many big towner fillies. But... Well, that brings up the question what's it like to jump on the horse for the first time and I Bring her to the winner's circle. I did drive her once before, and uh, she's a uh, filly that doesn't like to leave too much and get in the action early. She comes home good, and if the race goes right, they cut you fast fractions. She's got it a little kick at the end, and she gets a little trip behind some live horses. She's all right. Let's talk about the other story from the backstretch recently that was uh, kind of disheartening, the virus that went around. Seems everybody's coming back now pretty well. Uh, how's your stable? Uh, we got uh, got it all cleared up, and uh, this weather is helping it. Uh, it uh, killed a lot, lot of the virus off. Uh, earlier we had a lot of uh, wet, uh, damp weather and uh, changing temperatures and that kind of thing. It's bad for the virus, and now we got this kind of weather. It's it's pretty well all over in the back stretch, I think. Okay, Kev, thank you for uh, speaking with us. Good luck in your upcoming drives, and now let's go up into the clubhouse with Ken.